Here we go, guys. Here I am in Saint Paul. It's uh, in La Réunion, Réunion Island, in the Indian Ocean. And I want to to make a video, this video, just to talk a little bit about what's going on in our life in this world today with all the change that's going on inside of this world where everybody is wondering what's going on with uh, the event that's uh, coming and go and a lot of things is changing but all those change is a manifestation of something that we need really deep inside because if you can see how the world is going today the way that we are caught into uh, repeating all the time the same thing going to work and work more and then uh, having a life and then after going to retirement and then after dying it looks like all of that does not have any meaning in the way that we are doing it uh, in this in this world it is um, something that we we kind of doing because we are obliged we are in such a condition that everything seems to be uh, something mechanical that happened to us and that we are not doing anything ourselves and if we are doing something is to arrange the life that we have uh, which is um, into the repetition all the time and and in that repetition we are actually we have some kind of pleasure but this pleasure, it doesn't give us any joy. We have everything that we need. Mostly everything. We can drink, we can sleep, we have a house to be in. We have maybe lots of privilege. But it looks like something is missing. We come back again and trying all the time to look for something that's going to put some kind of joy inside of our heart because the way we are living it's so repetiting and that is something very disturbing for anybody who is living today because what we are looking for never happen. All what we aim for, it's some kind of illusion that we are running after. But we are not touching the center of the meaning of existence. Because the way we are doing, there is no meaning. Because the meaning that we are doing, the way that we are doing, is the way that somebody put, put it for you to, to apply. So you are doing something that all the people before you concluded that is good for you. And you repeat all what it's been done and made. So, but life is something more extraordinary than just repeating what we have been doing yesterday, to repeat it again today, to have some kind of pleasure. Because all of those kind of pleasure who, who come from the past, it doesn't have any life inside, inside of it. You know? life is is something that's going on 
each moment in our life. You know the sunset that you see today? You have some kind of beauty just when you are leaving it. But when it's finished, it's finished. It will never become come back again. You'll have to to make an, another one but new. Nothing can be repeated the way it is. And so is life. Life is something that we cannot repeat from what we have, the joy we have before. We cannot repeat it. We cannot hang on to that. Because when you hang on to your life, to the past, to the past that you have, you become miserable. Because you are not living anymore. You are just hoping that you are going to be having some pleasure with what you have. But what you have, it's the past. What you store in your head is the past. You cannot keep that. You have to let it go. Because life is in front, is just beginning now. Now is life, not later, not before, it's just now. And can you live now without going on inside of your head with the pleasure that you look for, the life you would like to, to live? Because if your head is doing that, you are not there to live the present. And that's what it's all about, to live what? It's going on now. Either it is good or bad. Either you like it or not. That's your life. But it seems to me that all what you want to do all the time is looking for something that is to my, my test. I want to have what I like. But what you like, it may be not what you need. Because life, it's something that always change and never is staying the same. You're young today, but tomorrow you're old. You're happy today, but tomorrow maybe it's another thing. And all of that, it's life. And you have to let that go. Because we are, we are attached to the joy that we are living. Because we don't know, we're afraid to live the plenitude of it now. We're afraid to be free now. We're afraid to let it go now. We said, maybe tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow because now I don't have time. I'm so busy with my job, with my wife, my life, my family. I'm so busy to please everybody. So I'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow, you know, it doesn't exist just while you are waiting for it. While you are waiting for it, you are not there. You are inside of the tomorrow that you project yourself inside. And that tomorrow doesn't exist. You are in an illusion. You are not there. And what you like, and what we like, we human beings, is to be there together. To have what we need. The time together. Not a time of longing, longing for something that we don't have. Everything is just possible, but so only now. Tomorrow is a dream. If you think it's possible tomorrow, maybe. But it's your dream. It's not life. It's not the life that you need to have. It's the life that you want to have. And that's not, not there. It doesn't exist, my friend.
all you need to do is to be there and that's probably the things the most difficult for us to be there to be with the situation either we like it or not just to leave it and not looking for something better the state of mind that you have now is what you have if you're looking for something else it's not there all what you have is what you are and can you accept that the world all your life people have been telling you oh that's not good you should not be like that you should not be sad you should not be that you should not be that and then you think that you have to please them for them to be happy to see you the way they like to see you because, because they are your friend and if you are not doing what your friend have projected for you you won't have them anymore because we let people tell us what to do with our life but it won't be now it will be for tomorrow you will be happy, you will be happy they said but not now you have to do that that and that you have to become something you have to endure to be able to be happy but that's what the time in this world give us made, made us desire something that we don't have and if you can see you can see as I'm, I, I'm seeing as I'm, I am seeing it you too you can see everybody is running for some kind of happiness the happiness that they don't have they are looking for it through time tomorrow or they go back into yesterday and they say oh how wonderful it was yesterday i like that to happen again it won't happen again because life keep on going and if you're not going on with life life will, will let you there and you'll be miserable because you won't have anything to enjoy you'll have just your thought your past your memory your desire all of only that but that it's in your head can you go over that can you pass that let them let that out out of you that's what it is to be free free of your thought have a mind free of the past of all the past all your life all your story that you build all the life the joy you had the the who that you had all of that the drum the drama you made about everything that you did that you have to get that behind you because when that is not you know you don't carry that you are in another dimension and that dimension is the now to live now to have to enjoy the moment that you have and to be present present in that moment that is the whole story are you there or are you not there are you there with life surfing with it or are you hoping to surf on life it's two things different 
One is true, and what, and the other one is your, just your desire. And with your desire, you are not going very far. You are going to be struggling to look for something that doesn't exist. And it seems to me all our action in this life is to do that. We act for the best, we hope for the best, and we are never in the moment that life is going on. Because what you are is that manifestation of what life is. And life doesn't manifest itself tomorrow. It's just now. That's what you are. Why do you wait? Wait for what? All what you wait, it's an illusion. And that's what the world is made for, with illusion. We want something to come that's not there. That's an illusion that we have. And we believe it. We believe it. We said, wow, one day, one God will come and serve me. But there is there's no silver, silver. You are the one who's going to serve yourself by living that life and not staying in your little bubble trying to think about life, trying to think about the joy that you can have, trying to think the love that you can have, that you won't have it. Because when you're looking, when you want something, it's not you. You are not there. Because there is a memory inside of you, what you call me, it's all a bundle of memory of yourself. The way that you have been living your, your life, you memorize what you did, and that's become you. And you is that thing that wants to repeat it. Because if he's afraid to die, he's afraid to die. That thing that you call, call me, because he's, he's living with what is made for, from, is made from the past. And what he knows about life is that, the past. But life is not the past. When life passes through you, there is no past, there is no present, there is no future. There is just now. Everything is now. Everything is there. You don't have to go in your head. Try to make your life. Because in this world, that's what it, everybody says. Become, become something. Hone your life. Find your life. There's nothing to find. You are life. You are the living now. And that's what you have to do, is to live just what you are now. And don't wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow doesn't exist. Did I say something that talked to you? It talks to me anyway. And I know deep inside we are caught into that life of looking, of hope. all the life that we are living in the habit and the repeating all the time the same thing 
And when life, it's become nothing interesting. So you're looking for something to enjoy yourself. And that's what we are doing in this world. But we are not living. We're afraid of living. We're afraid of let go ourselves to be true, to be truly what we are. Afraid of the past, afraid of living, afraid of dying. We are a bundle of fear that doesn't let us be what you are. And what you are, it's so beautiful. Be good with yourself. Let yourself be. Don't try to be. Let yourself be. See you sometime.